today I'm delighted to be joined by Richard Hind, the Managing Director at West African Resources. Richard, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. So Richard, tell me a little bit about you. Uh, look, I'm a geologist. Um, I've been working in West Africa for nearly 20 years. Uh, I started West African Resources in the late 2000s and then listed in 2010. Um, so it's been a, a long journey, but the last few years we've re really been making a lot of progress and we're looking forward to pouring gold next year. So Richard, tell me a bit about West African Resources. So West African Resources is a, a Burkina Faso focused uh, gold explorer, developer, producer, um, or hoping to be producer next year. Uh, we're about two thirds of the way through the construction of the San Brado Gold Project, which has got a 10 year mine life, uh, very low costs, uh, plenty of upside on resources and reserves. Uh, and we're looking to produce over 300,000 ounces in the first 12 months of production. Yeah, it sounds like an exciting time, especially with gold prices currently. <laughs> it's a very good time to be in gold. Um, and we took the opportunity last year to, to fund the project. Um, so we're fully funded. We raised over 200 million US dollars in debt. Uh, we raised about $80 million Australian in, in equity to fund the project. Uh, currently we're about two, uh, two thirds through construction. We're um, about halfway through our debt drawdowns with um, tourist funds. And uh, we're proceeding on time and on budget. So Richard, I understand you were just presenting at the Africa Down Under conference. How important is a conference like this for you? Well, it's really important for the company. It's also um, an opportunity to, to bring together all the consultants, the uh, uh, dignitaries from, from Africa, um, and all meet in an informal setting in, here in Perth. So Richard, tell me a little bit about your San Brado Gold project. San Brado is our flagship project. Uh, we started making really good progress with, with um, San Brado in 2016 after the discovery of the high grade M1 South Zone. We followed that from surface down to 700 vertical metres uh, and that kind of provides about, at the moment, um, through the studies that we've done, about six to seven years of underground mining. Uh, we've also got some areas uh, at M5 and M3 which are open pits. And the project at the moment, based on the study, will produce uh, the first five years of uh, nearly 220,000 ounces of gold per annum. Um, at all the sustaining costs of around about US uh, $600 per ounce. So what can we expect to see in the next, say, 12 months? Well, for the next 12 months, um, we'll be completing the, the build on San Brado. Um, so we're two thirds of the way through at the moment. Uh, we expect to finish build, the build um, midway through 2020. Uh, we look to be commissioning in the, around the uh, end of the June quarter next year, uh, pouring first gold and um, ramping up into commercial production in the second half of the year. Fantastic. Richard, thank you so much for coming in today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me.